Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys about this book I read. It's called Blended by Sharon M. Draper. So as you can see here, there's a little girl. She's African-American. Um, this book is about her. Her name is Isabella. Isabella comes from a family, a split family. Her mom and her dad whom her dad is african-american and her mom is white and throughout the book she kind of struggles with finding her identity she doesn't know if she's just white if she's just black um she has a hard time identifying with what she really is or how to go about it um, she's in the sixth grade, but on top of trying to figure out who she is, um, her parents get a divorce and she has to learn how to split her time with her mom and her dad. Um, both her mom and dad um, have new significant others. So um, her dad is engaged to um, Anastasia, which is going to be her future uh stepmom and then her mom is also engaged to john mark um to be her future stepdad and so the book basically um talks about her finding herself her feelings how she feels going back and forth her identity um it's a really really good read um it's very relatable I personally come from a split home myself, so I was able to really connect with her and her feelings on how she feels having to do two birthdays and two Christmases and just having to split her time between her parents. Um, but I did want to dive in and just read you a little bit about what goes on. So let's do that. As we approached the usual gray leather exchange couch, I noticed two other people standing beside my dad. I took, I, I look over at the Apple store. Is there a new phone out? Hanging on, on a minute, there's a dress blue uniform. White hats, police. Why are the police here? They all turn towards me and mom. We get closer. Dad lifts his chin and gives me that don't mess with me look. Anastasia is not with him. Neither is Darren. What did the police want? My heart is thudding. I grab my mom's hand. She clenches mine. One police officer strolls, strolls toward us as if this is no big deal. Yet his hand is on his holster. Nicole Thornton, he calls out. It's both a question and a demand. You called the police, mom hisses at dad, because I'm late. You refuse to follow the court order, dad replies. The policeman steps closer. OMG, are they going to arrest my mother? This is like crazy unreal. I gotta get out of here. I let go of mom's hand, and that's when I can't stop myself. I run. I take off down the mall. I run full speed faster than any laps I've ever done in gym class. Faster than when I got stung by a bee when I was six. I run and I run. I hear my name, mom's voice, dad's voice. They sound frantic. I can't stop. I keep racing down the mall. My sneakers slap against the marble. It's Sunday, so most of the stores are closing early. I can't even run into one of them and hide, but I know this mall, every inch of it. The bathroom? No, that's too easy. They'll spot me. Unless I stand on the toilet seat like I've seen people do in movies. I keep running. I'm gasping. I'm gulping. I'm sobbing. I hear my mom calling my name. My dad, too. He sounds kind of freaked out. I don't care. I head to the entrance of Macy's. At the far end of the mall, a guard is closing and sliding down the glass doors. No, I yell. Sorry, miss, the guard says. We'll be back open at 10 in the morning. I hear footsteps behind me. Izzy, Isabella. I make a sharp left, turn and spurt through the exit doors into the parking lot. It's raining, pouring. I'm soaked in seconds. I don't care. 
I bound into the grayness of the rainstorm. There's really no hiding place in sight. So I press against the wall of the building in the middle of a flower bed, freshly planted tulips and daffodils. I pull my jacket close. The storm is like liquid fur, exactly how I feel. My, sne my sneakers are sinking into the soft muck of the flower bed. The smell of fertilizer makes me want to gag. I just want to keep sinking into the mud until I disappear forever. Mom and Dad come creaning out out the door. They spot me right away. Izzy, Isabella, I hate you. I hate you both. I holler at them. I back away, wishing the wall would swallow me. Izzy, come inside. Mom is frantic. Please, come on, baby girl. You're gonna get sick. She reaches out to me, but I retreat further into the flower bed. She looks insane. Her hair is sobbing, plastered to her face. She's crying too. Now they're both sobbing through the muddy flower bed, inches away. I have no place to go. Are the police gonna come get me? Are they gonna come get me out? I'm scared. I can't see the doors. So what will happen next? It's crazy. Her parents arguing about being late to drop off and pick up. And her dad's called the police and the police are involved. This book is so good. I really do truly recommend that you guys read it. And let me know what you think.